So check this out. There are two privileged escalation vulnerabilities that affect 40% of Ubuntu users. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have some more cyber news. And recently, a security researching company named Wiz stumbled upon two critical privilege escalation vulnerabilities known as CVE-2023-2640 and CVE-2023-32629 within Ubuntu's Overlay FS module. Now, Overlay FS is a widely used Linux file system, especially popular in container environments, allowing dynamic file system deployment. But unfortunately, these vulnerabilities make up an attractive target for exploitation, potentially putting 40% of Ubuntu cloud workloads at risk. And in this video, I want to dive into the details of these vulnerabilities, understand why Ubuntu became vulnerable despite prior patches, and learn some essential steps to protect your system from this concerning threat dubbed Game Over Lay. So let's hop over to the article. Okay, so this article is on Wiz Research's blog. And of course, I'll have the link down in the description of the video. But as you can see, they're the ones that discovered it. And so I wanted to go right to the source. That way you guys can see exactly what they did to figure out this vulnerability and report it. So just to read the subtitle, it says Wiz Research discovers both of those CVEs, too easy to exploit privilege escalation vulnerabilities in the overlay file system module in Ubuntu affecting 40% of Ubuntu cloud workload. And let's go down and just check out. Now, both of those vulnerabilities were found in the overlay file system module in Ubuntu, which is a widely used Linux file system that became highly pop popular with the rise of containers as it's features enable the deployment of dynamic file systems based on pre-built images. And an overlay file system serves as an attractive attack surface as it has a history of numerous logical vulnerabilities that were easy to exploit. This makes the new discovered vulnerabilities especially risky given the exploits for the past overlay file system vulnerabilities work out of the box without any changes. Now, I wanted to point out this next sentence because it breaks down how it only affects Ubuntu. It says the two vulnerabilities are exclusive to Ubuntu because Ubuntu introduced several changes to the overlay file system module in 2018. So this is basically where it came from. Whatever changes they made to this overlay file system module uh, is what caused this vulnerability. And that's why Ubuntu is the only one affected at the moment. And it says these modifications did not pose any risk at the time in 2020. A security vulnerability was discovered and patched in the Linux kernel. However, due to Ubuntu's modifications, an additional vulnerable flow was never fixed in Ubuntu. This shows the complex relationship between Linux kernel and distro versions when both are updating the kernel for different use cases. So yeah, that could cause a problem. Uh, now it says this complexity poses horror to predict risks. Now Ubuntu fixed the vulnerability on June 24th, 2023. Users should update their kernel to the latest version. And that's exactly what you should do. That's why I was gonna tell you guys at the end of it, just make sure you run the updates because they have fixed the vulnerability. I just wanna make people aware of it because it's a lot of people out there with systems that are just sitting, uh, and probably not updating them as they should. And this right here is just an announcement to patch your servers. Now let's break down who is vulnerable. And they have this nice little table right here that tells you each one of the kernel versions that are vulnerable based on the releases. So 23.04 Lunar Lobster, the 6.2.0 kernel version is vulnerable to both of these vulnerabilities. The same for Kinetic Kudu 5.19.0 and the same on Jammy Jellyfish 22.04 uh, for the 5.19.0 kernel, as well as the 6.2, because you can install a 6.2 on 22.04. But check this out. Uh, the 5.15 kernel is not vulnerable uh, based on the chart. It's got those X's there, so neither one of those are affected. And then also the same under fo uh, Focal Fossil, which is Ubuntu 20.04, uh, 
um, that 5.15 uh, kernel version is not vulnerable as well. And then 5.4.0 is not vulnerable for the uh, 2640 vulnerability, but the 32.629, it is vulnerable. And Bionic Beaver, the same, because it has that same kernel. And just so you guys know, uh, this metrics is a work in progress and they will update it as they obtain new information. And in the meantime, Ubuntu has released official security bulletin for both of these vulnerabilities and WIS customers can check their impacted resources in the WIS portal. Now let's cover what is game overlay. And just to break down overlay file system, it's basically a union file system that allows one file system to be laid over another, enabling file modifications without altering the base. And this is represented in this image down here. You can check it out right there. And it's popularly used in scenarios like Docker containers. It maintains the base image while storing changes in a separate layer. However, this flexibility also exposes it as a potential security risk and an attractive attack surface. And just to read a little bit of this, it says tricking the kernel to ex execute your privileges with a simple executable. And so this is the non root capable privilege executable. And then it, it's overlaid. So using overlay file system to trick the kernel into copying the executable file and then root capable privilege execution. And this is essentially how the escalation happens. And let's look at how Ubuntu became vulnerable. I just want to cover these dates, but uh, January 29th, 2018, Ubuntu modified its kernel to use an external implementation of the function responsible for setting extended attributes. It changed it to this instead of this, which is what it's supposed to be. Uh, or what is actually used on other distros. And then December 14, 2020, uh, Linux discovered and patched a newly new overlay file system vulnerability uh, when Linux pushed the fix in 2020. So they pushed out this first fix bef before and it added protections to the function responsibility for setting extended attributes. So right there, uh, but since Ubuntu used an internal implementation it still had a vulnerable flaw. So you can check out this image right here. This kind of breaks it down as well. And that's why I wanted to cover it on Wiz because they had a breakdown of pretty much everything. You can see screenshots, you can see a breakdown of the flow of how it actually became vulnerable and all that good stuff. So on the 29th of April, 2022, due to additional overlay file system modifications by Linux, a second vulnerability flaw was introduced that shares the same root cause. So boom, you want to basically caused all of this. And you guys know that Ubuntu is like one of the most popular Linux distributions that are out there. It's a lot of people that are affected by this. And now, like I stated earlier, they, uh, Ubuntu released a fix for the impacted kernels. And for those that are unable to upgrade their kernel, there is an alternate solution. I want to show you guys that as well. You can run these commands right here and they will restrict the user namespace usage to users with limited privileges to stop potential exploitation. So you can run these commands and they'll update your system. So you won't be affected by this vulnerability. And then, like I said earlier, you can also update your system because the patch has been sent out. Now, as I wrap up this video, it's crucial to remain vigilant in the ever-changing landscape of cybersecurity, which is why I cover these topics, I cover these articles, because I want to make sure that people are aware of what's going on, especially if you work in the IT field, and also if you work in cybersecurity. If you work in cybersecurity, you should be paying attention to all this news that's coming out on these vulnerabilities that are out here. I know I only cover a small amount of the cyber news that's put out, but you should be on top of this as a cybersecurity professional. That way you can maintain the security of the organization that you work for. Now, one thing I want to shout out is Ubuntu because they acted swiftly to fix this issue, making it essential for users to update their kernels promptly. And so I hope this video has provided valuable insight into the significance of timely updates and staying aware of emerging threats. Now, remember maintaining 
a secure computing environment is a shared responsibility. And by staying informed, you can play a vital role in safeguarding your systems as well as your organization. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it techy.